never seen something like that. And the noise of it when it was going up was insane. And I asked Grandpa, would you go in it? And he goes, What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are on Trump Force 1. Won't you see the Starship rocket launch at SpaceX? Oh, we got a new telegirl here. Hey guys. They actually got really good new telefroya the other night. Oh, it was so, so good. good. They opened a 16 uh, handle. The new tele was. And so was the pumpkin spice. I love pumpkin spice. Anything pumpkin spice. What do you like? I got new tele flavored ice cream and then I got this new tele like spread crunch. Get, got the pumps of Nutella and I got cookie dough. How much new tele do you consume a week? Consume a week? Like of the big tubs, like two. So the edits you guys make, no lie, the edits that I've seen on TikTok, I actually love the edits, especially to like the good songs, like some of the weekend songs. I saw one edit that was like JKR. I think it's JKR, right, maybe? Oh yeah, here, JKR. Yeah. I, re I really like the edit, so keep them up, amazing. Can we like be in sync? One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Wow, we were so in sync there. Yeah, I'm about to go and grab a snack. I'll be right back, guys. What's that? I already want coffee. I like this one, but this is one cantaloupe. Oh, wait, let's do this clapping you and me. I'm about to do it. You ready? She always cheats, so we can't play. Ah, oh, wait, I know. I, 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 I won. No, you can't. <laughs> <laughs> sweating right now. I'm sweating. <laughs> I got one question for y'all. Yeah. Who uh, coordinated the outfits? <laughs> Actually, let me break this down. Kai asked me, what do we think we're gonna wear? I said, oh, I just bought this Skims top at the mall. I think I'm gonna wear black jeans, a black belt, black uh, shoes, and the Skims top. She goes, where in the mall do they sell Skims? I said, oh, Nordstrom. I show up to her house. She's wearing a black Skims top, a black belt, and black jeans. Can you grab my back? Here, this. Do you guys Oh, it's hard lifting like 200 pounds, but like I can't do it. Can you squat with me in your back? Yeah. Wow. It's easier Whoa. than the other Oh my god, yeah, it's making her lighter. Yeah. Oh, you can get off now. Alright, my turn. Whoa! <laughs> you can get down lower. You gotta get low. You gotta get low. Get low. Eyes out of 45 degree. <laughs> You're gonna fail. You can do it. Alright, first one on land, it wins. Telegram in the wild. This is a plane. Let me give you a tour. Oh, you probably sit down right there. Yeah. Okay. There you go. Thank you. What do you think, Hogan? Pretty sick. Very cool, right? Five hundred. It's not every day you can you get to see a plane land. One hundred. Fifty. Forty. Thirty. Twenty. Ten. Bryson and Elon. Oh my god. <laughs> I'll design a rocket ship golf club with boosters in the back so it increase your swing speed. Nice. Just a tad. 320 coming your way? Just for you. Just for me, yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna need it. Alright, alright. Ow. Ow. That hurt. side of the rocket. So the, the, the other side, the windward side, has those black tiles. Yeah, it's a little hard to see, but, but 
Uh, so we're looking at the, the, the leeward side, well, the, the cold side essentially. Um, so you can see that the tiles are on the nose, but on the, on the other side, the windward side, it's all black yeah. tiles. Yeah. And those are uh, ceramic, basically heat shield tiles. Mm -hmm. uh, they basically more advanced version of what it was on the space shuttle. <laughs> Yeah. Look, it's up at to the top left. T minus. What are we feeling? I don't know. My hair is all over the place, so. Oh, the bread looks pretty good. Oh, really? Okay, so. What else do you want? Pick this cookie. That's actually kind of cool. Like, it's a star brew. The bacon is very good. Very good bacon. Oh my god, it's very good. Very good. Very good. It only comes back to land if everything is like super green, right, right. and then we had some concerns about the tower, so it, it was it was commanded to land out to sea. Amazing, amazing. Can they use that again? Can they get it from the sea? Or uh, it's going to be probably probably blocked. Probably, probably get blocked, is my guess. But uh, that's fine. We actually have um, better versions that are in production in those uh, factories over there. How long so. will it take to produce another one of those? Oh, we already have the next one. Well, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> and, it's, and it's better than that one. Okay. So there are, like there are big improvements with every success. So what makes it better? The specific next one we have is a, a lot of small improvements. There's a, a big version of increase that'll, that'll be flying next year. That's got the version three of our engines. That'll look very different. And it'll be uh, longer and uh, have a lot more thrust and have the new next generation engines. You can see um, on those screens up there, that's the ship that is now going around the Earth. So if you, if you want to maybe get a better view if you come, let's go. So it's actually going through the dark side of, like Earth, this is the region of Earth that is going through is now dark. It'll enter the region where the Earth West is actually sunny. So it's currently sunny, about 600 miles from the west of Australia. So it'll, it'll go out of Earth's shadow and we should be able to see it land. And that'll be pretty cool. So watching it to re enter is pretty wild because this thing glows like super hot. I mean, it looks like special effects because it's like every color, it's like. Purple, red, white, it's wild. If it doesn't blow up, we do have ships to try to bring it back and then we can expect it to learn more. That's great. But this one won't be reused. This one will not be reused. So this one is all about just learning. It's, it's about learning more. So this time we're going to enter um, at, a, at a steeper angle than before, so it's going to be a higher heating. We'll, we'll see if some of the changes we've made to the heat shield are better. So from the last launch, uh, you can actually see where it was getting really hot because we lose some heat shield, so it was like kind of glowing and little bits were melting off and that kind of thing. So hopefully this time the heat shield should be more robust. We also reduced the amount of heat shielding, uh, so there's about uh, six feet less heat shielding on the sides because we don't think that's necessary. Yeah, yeah. let's check it out. Yeah. It's kind of like, okay, it didn't explode. Well, I guess it's you know, sick. Yeah. Look on the bright side. Now, I've never seen something like that, and the noise of it, like when it was going up, it's insane. And I asked Grandpa, would you go in it? And he goes, no. <laughs> he would not volunteer going in the station, but it's okay.
Oh, would you? Go in it? Yeah. Without a doubt, like in a heartbeat, I'm on that. That was crazy, that was good. Yeah. What's the G-forces going up if you were to go to man? Is it too much for a person to handle? No, it's fine. Oh, it's okay. Yeah, like five Gs. Okay, that's fine. It's fine, yeah. The boost back burn is doing 20 Gs, so you wouldn't want to be on that. You wouldn't want to do the flip, yeah. No. <laughs> what did you say the top speed was? Well, this flight, it'll do about 17,000 miles an hour, but uh, for going to Mars, you'd go much faster than that, so maybe 35,000. Depends on how fast you want to go to Mars, but maybe 35,000 miles an hour. What's the quickest uh, time frame to get to Mars with our current te technology? If you want to maximize payload, it takes six months. Uh, you could potentially get it down to like three or four months if you're willing to sacrifice payload. Okay. Does the weight matter once you're in space as much or not really? It, it, like you, you've got to accelerate mass to a yeah. velocity to, to, to basically the, the Mars transfer velocity. So there's a cost benefit right. of yeah, getting so it going. If you, okay. if you have less payload, you can go faster. Uh, yeah. That's cool. the beginning would, would maximize payloads to be like six months. Yeah, right. Like long term, you could definitely get it below three months. So, yeah. Cool. Um, that's fantastic. Let's go see it. Let's do it. Yeah. Thank you for having me. It's like lots of tears. It's amazing. Tears. <laughs> and I told her she was just crying. Cool. What's harder? pretty exciting. I mean, it's one of the most epic things that humans have done. Oh, for sure. For sure. What's harder? This or greater riffs in Diablo? Uh, this is much harder. <laughs> <laughs> did, you, did you ever play Fortnite? Uh, no. <laughs> but I, I did play Quake and a, and a bunch of other first-person shooters. What about League? Did you play League? Is that X? Uh, Le League, if I, if I start playing League, it will da damage the space program. <laughs> yeah, that's the first, right? Yeah, it's cool. It's awesome. Uh, it's an honor to have President here. That's crazy. I swear I got chills and I never get chills besides winning tournaments. When I win tournaments, I get the chills throughout my whole body. This legitimately gave me chills down the back of my spine. This was honestly one of the coolest things ever. I think that changed my entire perspective on